All right, guys, I'm on FST 10.10, as you guys know. I'm doing a little test right now. It's pretty busy today, it's Monday. And it's four o'clock, so like around four, it gets like really busy, a lot of traffic. So let's see how the 10.10.2 handles this. It's going to be a lot of uh, like neighborhood. I'm doing like a test overall in like different areas today to see how it goes. It's going to be a pretty long video, but I'm going to fast forward it a lot when I go on the freeway or um, like different locations that there is nothing happening, just a road. So just enjoy this video. In 500 feet, turn right to take the Interstate 680 ramp toward Oakland, San Jose. Now turn right to take the Interstate 680 ramp. Autopilot, so it's nothing interesting. 
I still do record it in case if like something very interesting happens. But other than that, mainly I'm focused on showing you guys full self-driving. And it's just going to be like a normal road here, so. Let's see how it handles like an urban neighborhood area. I have a, a lot of videos in like this area around Walnut Creek. I live in Pleasant Hill. I work in Walnut Creek. And I drive around the area a lot. So let's see how it goes. So far it's doing great. If I compare 10.9 um, to 10.10.2, uh, I would say it's um, a lot smoother. It recognizes surroundings better. Um, the vision is much better and it's much more like human-like. It's smoother. It ha it's more confident in turns, in lane changes. By end of this year, or like early 2023, Tesla is going to be like 100% into um, even like no touching the wheel probably. It already can drive without any assistance, like I haven't had any takeovers. But you still should be careful because it's a FSD and it's a beta. So un unless the full full self driving comes out, we have to go with the law and make sure everything is right. There is going to be a lot of regulations and stuff about the self driving of the car with the driver not paying attention or not uh, touching the wheel or correcting things but um, Tesla hasn't had any accidents overall on like self-driving compared to other companies that are doing like autonomous driving per like mile I'm pretty sure one of the companies had accidents like every 36,000 miles or something but then Tesla had accidents like every I don't want to say it wrong but every like three point something million miles or something like that. And there's a lot of owners that are testing the car on every single version of it. Like there's still some people on like 10.8, um, 10.9, 10 10.10.2. 10 10 10 so it's like a broad of uh, every single car model X, Y, 3, S. They're all different sizes, different maneuvers, they need different um, spaces on the road, they all have different powers. Like my Model 3 performance is pretty fast, but someone in a plaid doing FSD if they're on Turn right onto person um, even normal sport, sport mode it does like 2 point something 2.2, 2.3 or 0 to 60 this was perfect it's just it's very smooth I would want it to be a little bit farther now to the right, right side lane. Okay, go a little bit faster so you don't get honked at So it just got it just got confused on where to go. It's rerouting now. Now turn right to stay on Pleasant Hill Road. There was a lot of cars behind me. So we did that. And I'm not gonna take over for random things. I'm gonna let the car drive. 
What is happening? Why is it not? In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Camino Verde. Why did it do that whole thing? Could have just gone in that same road and did a U-turn. Now turn right onto Camino Verde. Instead of going all around, but it's completely fine. Let's go. I don't like to take over because I want to see where the car has um, issues and problems. Like that turn down there it was pretty confusing because just how the area is, you just get off a pretty busy road into In 500 feet, turn right onto Cayuga Street. Nobody being there. A lot of people being backed up behind you. Now turn right onto Cayucas Drive. But so far it's doing great, like on turns. You see it's very confident, very nice. Even humans miss a turn, that's completely fine. Like In 500 feet, turn right onto Huston Road. The amount of times that I haven't been familiar with the area and I've missed turns and now turn right onto Huston Road. Even uh, the GPS has made mistakes. It's been a lot. Here's just a little bit confused because the right side of the road there wasn't anything, and it's a pretty narrow road with no markings. And there's people with like dogs and stuff, so I'm gonna be like really careful. In 500 feet, turn left onto Pleasant Hill Road. Like when the car is around humans on uh, FSD, I'm very careful, but I'm not like 100% ready to take over. Like I'm, I'm, I am ready, but I'm not now like turn left onto Pleasant Hill Road. On my wheel, ready to like stop. Oh, we're gonna have an unprotected left turn. Let's see how it does it. I'm excited because I don't get to see that many of them. Okay, it's gonna stop for that car on that side. There's nobody here. Perfect. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm even confused where I'm going. Like, what is this? In 500 feet, bear right to stay on Pleasant Hill Road. Now bear right to stay on Pleasant Hill Road. Oh, oh I see it. I need to go in a very, very, very small street. So. kind of sucks I went all the way around the whole area I wish there was like somewhere to like go right there and not go all the way around this guy is like right behind me so I'm gonna speed up a little bit Hold up, I could do U-turns here. Why is it not letting, like, why is the uh, navigation like this? In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Spring Hill Road. So there's no U-turns here. Um, 
mix. Oh, maybe the car can't do U-turns, that's why. Because it can't even do U-turns next to my now house. Right up to Spring Hill Road. Okay, so uh, this is not a disengagement for the car, like for the autopilot. I'm taking over because I don't want to like waste a bunch of time going in that car. I'm just going to do a U-turn and go back. I'm kind of confused because it's done U-turn before, but it, even the navigation wouldn't show me a U-turn. So that's very odd. Like there was three, three parts that I could have done a U-turn and it didn't let me. The turn radius on the car is really now turn nice. Left so. onto Pleasant Hill Road. Here we go. Back in the lane. I'm ready. So. Sometimes engaging it kind of gets confusing. But overall it's doing great like slows down much better for like lights people around taking turns everything I sped up to the speed limit myself because there's nobody in front of me This one? 